Or <laughs> Yo, that's such a dope comparison. <laughs> this is strictly for Phone Brothers Television. Yeah, yeah I'm Chinese and what? <laughs> Yeah, you know who this is, Jin. Let me tell you this: the days of the pork fried rice and the chicken wings coming to your house by me is over. Y'all gon' learn FBC, Fun Brothers yeah, Camp. Yeah, yeah. What's up? This we is know Jin. Jin. This is actually kind of a dream for us to open Don't up for Jin, man. Wait a minute. Once upon a time, I was in Shanghai for something, for like some mall event, story time, and then this random freaking ABC type rabbit kid. Pops up talking about yo, I want to battle you. That I didn't say I want to battle you, but somebody somebody set it set up. Set it up. Yes, but that was you. That was me. Have you guys rocked here before? Yeah. No, no. Actually, actually, a long time ago for a different promotion company. Oh, okay. I think we yeah, we rocked here for okay. like New Year's or something. That should be fun. Man, we have a lot of young fans that actually miss the 106 in Parkland. Yeah, you know, you I know, know how it is. Like, I know. The kids nowadays they don't know. Well, I mean, it's not that they don't know. They should. They wouldn't know. Why like, would they? Right? Yeah, because it's, it's like a whole cycle. It's like LL. Nobody. I mean, they don't know. LL. I know LL. Right. We're gonna make sure everybody knows LL. LL is the reason I rhyme. What are we gonna see tonight, man? Are we? Are we is it all just new material? You're gonna no give idea. us some of the old stuff. You, I have you no don't idea. Know. I just brought my whole iTunes with every single song that I've ever recorded in the last 12 years. And uh, I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna hit shuffle and see what pops up. If you want to do oh, no. your most famous track, and you want us to come out and hype, I that, would, that, that, that would make a big, that would mean a lot to me. If you're talking about the track I think you're talking about, I haven't done it in years. Is it, is it the one I'm thinking of? It's the one. Let's, it's on the, the count one. of three, let's do the first line in the beginning. The first line. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah I'm Chinese and what? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I didn't want to perform anymore, David. No, what I'm you sorry, what, Carl. I, no. I do know some of the other I haven't done that in a while. Actually, but what is the reason behind it? Because I think a lot of people... You can't know. You can't the know. know Barbara Walters. Yeah, 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 no. That's such a deep question. Every time you see right. the Fun Bros, it's an interview, I'm going to tell you why, why I don't do it. Um, and this might not be a legit reason. I think that song symbolizes for me personally a certain part of a chapter of my life and journey and, and, and career that I don't want to say like, yo, I'm trying to forget about it, but I do feel my mindset is completely different now. So let alone if the DJ drops it and we hear that dang, 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 right? Yeah, the kids don't know about it. They would rather them not know about it. It's cool. Is it in the same way Nas doesn't perform ether anymore? <laughs> or yo, that's such a dope comparison. <laughs> uh, now, not, not by any means am I putting Learn Chinese on the same pedestal as Ether, because we all know Learn Chinese is a classic, you know? <laughs> it is, though, in our world. Nah, nah, I mean, nah. the world. All, in jokes the world. Aside, all jokes aside, maybe. I, I haven't really heard why Nas doesn't do Ether, but I could imagine sometimes certain songs, like, it's not so much that you're, like, ashamed of it, but it's just, it's not the time and place to do it right now. Would you do anything off Restless History? Oh, um, that's a great question. I don't know if I have any with me tonight, but... What are some songs off that I would that I feel that I would be at peace doing? That's a dope question. I think one song is because uh, we can hype because we was just bumping we, that we album hype for this you week too. with Richie because he likes Senorita a lot. We were bumping the story. Yo, here's a gem for you. Yeah, this is strictly for Funk Brothers Television. <laughs> I've never performed Love Story no, live. That's crazy. No. And there's no particular reason. I've just never. Been asked for it. <laughs> well, no. All jokes aside, that's been like a song that a lot of people. Uh, it's like a memorable song because I think the context of the story, you know, the Chinese kid having a crush on a black girl, and you know, that, that little tale right there, uh, it resonated with a lot of people. I don't know why. Same cry. Same cry. Same cry. Yo. Same cry. I got a crazy story about Same Cry. The first time that I ever performed, I did a tour in Asia, but I remember when we went into like Shanghai and Beijing and those places, the first thing that the, the, the local said to me is, by the way, you cannot do same crime. Right, because that's Tiananmen line. Right. Well, I mean, I think just in general, by kind of like the the, 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 the the content of the song, particularly that, you know, and that blew my mind. Because when I was writing it, I didn't think so much about how powerful what I'm talking about yeah. is to where a country, you know, you know, doesn't want me to talk about it. And ironically, my birthday is on June 4th. So it's like, there's that stigma of like June 4th. Every year during my birthday, all I see is, and this is the year that this happened. And so there's a lot of historical background on that. And to be honest, when you came out with that song, I, I just learned about that, and I thought it was kind of crazy that you had dropped a song about, about it. Because at the time, we didn't really see you as that type of person to drop yeah. a yeah, song yeah, yeah. about something that happened in China. Now, yeah. with Same Cry, I had performed before. I did it at the ISA, I think it was called International Secret Agents. A couple of years back. Shout out to Wong Fu. Shout out to Wong Fu. Yes, that ISA. was a Wong We got a show on the ISA. Uh, <laughs> brought me to tears. You know why? Because at that time that I did it, I remember my grandfather just passed away. And I thought about him as I was doing the song. And then, you know, the content of that song is, you know, it's, it's that generation. Yeah. 
So, yeah, but uh, here never, we go. This is never seen before in a new stock show, right? Never. I've never talked about most of these things that I just talked about. Hey, I'm man. only doing it with y'all. Man, I appreciate you know, it. Look at us. Because we're the, the same. We're the same. Yeah. I would never give this type of info to Sway. Hey, or, you know, or hey, with the Breakfast hey, Club. Or Charlemagne the God. They would never get none of this out of me. No, no, no. But I'll just, yo, Sway, Charlemagne, how I would tell you. I'll tell you more than this. We got to We got to talk briefly about Eddie. Eddie Paul. Yeah. Doing his thing, right? Crazy. I can't wait till that one show comes six, out. One. I almost felt like, yo, I should get some some type of royalty. Because <laughs> when they said the synopsis, little Chinese boy growing up in Florida, family had a restaurant, hip hop had. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Who's doing a story about my life? But then um, I saw Eddie's book. And, and Eddie, real dope. I haven't had a chance to meet him. But he shot me an email around the time that the book dropped. He was like, yo, man, Jen, just want to, you know, send over a, 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 a salute. And, yo, the book's out. I'd love to hook you up with a copy. And, I went and bought a copy, you know, because I'm a Barnes and Noble member. So, you know, I, I have no problem with making the purchase. That's how I get my points up. Right. Uh, B&B all day, or oh, B&N, sorry. And, um, but the show, fresh off the boat. Excited. Yeah. Randall Park, you know, I like Randall Park too, so. I'm Got a lot of elements that have not been seen on uh, primetime television mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Asian family, Asian kid hip hop, yeah. loud mouth. I seen like the trailer, he had on like a Blue Tag Forever shirt. Yeah. I was like, yeah. The common thing between myself, you guys, Jeremy, Eddie, right? We're just being ourselves, right? We're trying to be authentic. Right. We're trying to be genuine. We're trying to be sincere. And our upbringing and our background, right, happens to be seen as our defining thing, right? Like, like so it's, it's, it is finding that balance. And it took me a while to find that balance. I ain't gonna lie, right? So, you know, when people like yourself or this, this generation coming up, they're like, yo, Jin, you, you, you cracked that door open, right? Maybe you didn't kick and bust, you know, you didn't bust it wide open. But you definitely cracked it a little bit. That's enough of me. That wasn't my mission. You know, I, I came into it not on some, yo, let me put the Asians on the map. No, I came into it on some, I love this, right? So you look at someone like a Jeremy, you can tell how much he loves balling, right? You look at someone like Eddie, maybe he's known for his cuisine skills. That, you know, that's just him. Isn't better than him. So, you know, and you guys, Whatever it is that you guys do, I don't really know. I'm sure we're you guys. Not, not I'm sure you guys love it. Nobody knows. Really sure. <laughs> That's your skill. Yo, do you know what a skill it is to not be really good at anything? We're, we're, no, we kind of kind of be a little bit good at yeah, all kinds of stuff. We, we all right at a bunch I, of things. I envy you. I envy you. But all right. still, that's being authentic, and uh, I'm excited for tonight. But man, hey, it means so much. This was a lifelong dream. It's been a long journey. We for know sure. this guy. Can, can we get Jim, some? Oh, yeah. Can we get some stills? We're so excited to open up for him, and uh, big shout out to Jen again, big shout out to Formosa too, we're opening up, uh, big shout out to Icon for making this happen, see you at the performance.